Sorry about that. It will only give us five minutes. Uh, I need ten minutes. Let's continue. Over time, much of the wealth Spain collected from the colonies was spent on wars of the natives. With time, uh, and time controls everything. Over time, over time, you know, I said that over time, uh, Spain still a uh, uh, silver, but then it become useless. While uh, while many countries uh, take uh, Spain, uh, take the America, Spain used uh, that and come uh, and uh, use all the land. Move to on. I know you all were curious about what land Spain control. I could tell that. Well, Portugal also went there. Portugal only controlled Brazil, you know? And that's why there's a lot of Portuguese people there. And I, except for the three guineas, I mean, Suriname was, let me tell you, South America was scrapped. Most of them were ruled by Spain. Brazil was ruled by Portugal, and the British and French also made presents there, and so was the Dutch. And uh, the, uh, the Spanish would uh, continue. Spain took nearly all of Central America, too, except for Belize, uh, Belize, Belize, which is still in British control. And move on to North America, where Britain, after seven years, Britain and France, after seven years' war, Britain won, and Britain maintained nearly all of the North. But Britain trade. For that way, Louisiana, which is still a big chunk of land, not the small state in today. Small U.S. state, I mean that. That time, Louisiana was big. Like this. But now, not only today. See, it's much different, you know. Then, uh, Spain bought Louisiana and trade with Florida. Yeah, but let's continue. Spain's wealth began to uh, disappear along with uh, with uh, Spain's colonies too. And interesting fact: not only the Americas, Spain also make a footprint in Asia too, mostly in the Philippines and some uh, islands in the Pacific. But after the Spanish-American War, Spain was all of it and bring that to America. Also, Cuba wants to be independent, kicked out by uh, U by Spain, and then the U.S. retake it. During the 1800s and the early 1900s, there was unrest throughout Spain, and stuff and stuff. After the Napoleonic Wars devastated the Spanish economy, after war and then, after World War I, a new Republican government was installed after the new monarch, after the last monarchy was made. And, as a result, the Spanish Civil War began in uh, 1936, and three years later, it ended. And then, after a Republican, it turned into dictatorship. You know? When the war ended, Francisco Franco was the country's leader. Franco died in 1775. Uh, and Spain made a new kind of government in 1778. Uh, 70, they still had a monarchy, but the king and the queen. 
Finally, the news that they overthrew their monkey by the, 18, uh, by the early 1900s. Oh, but the ability to rule in the past was. So, they may be a constitutional white bread. In the past laws, was in the hand of elected official, which the monarchy was at the top of the country's leader, but the real leader was the government. The monarchy of um, Spain has a mixed thing. Look. Spain makes both monarchy and democracy together that led the government today. Celebrations. Spaniards enjoy celebrating local holidays called fiestas or festivals. So this is the Spanish word for festivals. Fiestas include dancing, singing, and fireworks. Uh, St. George's Day was on April 23. Uh, it's a time people to give love, one books, and red roses. In July, the city of Pamplona hosts the festivals of San Fermín. During this festival, during this festival, men and women try to dodge books Bulls as they run through the streets of Pamplona. Um, this made me introduce strange way to Dutch bots, but now Dutch bulls. <laughs> this run only lasts about three more minutes, but it's called a plenty of segments. But I hope no one get hurt after the bull hits one uh, someone's butt. The National Day, the day that marks Christopher's uh, uh, Columbus arrival in America, which uh, which the, uh, this would call Christopher Columbus Day, Columbus Day for short. Arrival of America takes place on October twelfth. Spanish people celebrate this day as one of the main achievements Spain has had in the world. And yeah, another tomato finish. Truck with a red potato and throw it together. That's crazy. The Spanish eat three meals a day. Many people enjoy a sweet roll and milk or hot chocolate for breakfast. Lunch, the biggest meal, includes soup, salad, a main course, and dessert. Well, for dinner, people eat salads and sandwiches. Each region in Spain has a different kind of food. People by the sea usually serve seafood. People in Central, Spain of the in beans, lentils, lamb, and pork. The Spanish enjoys uh, enjoy gazpacho in the warm months. Gazpacho is a cold soup made with tomatoes and other vegetables. Conclusion: Spain's stories is important to us. The Spanish people love their rich history with the rise and fall of the Spanish Empire. They are proud with their cultural contribution they have made to the world and the artists and the builders made Spain so special and become and make Spain to the bent of world history. Goodbye. Yeah. Well, Spain was still Catholic every year. Okay. See, uh, see ya.